What is going on, Governor? It's just cool here, and today we're gonna unlock the expertise skill on Richard the First. Let me tell you, I'm excited. We're gonna take him for a spin, and if you like guides where we push the limits on epic and legendary commanders, you should definitely like and subscribe because that's the thing we're gonna do here. And we are a sponsored creator for Rise of Civilizations. Now, with that said, we've lined up all the sculptures to unlock this sweet expertise skill. It reduces damage taken by 5%, increases damage dealt to cavalry by infantry by 2%, which, I know, not a lot, but still, it's better than nothing. And in addition, every 10 seconds, we decrease the target march speed by 50% for 5 seconds. So, I really want to take Richard for a spin after we unlock this expertise skill, try it out. Um, and kind of see how frequently that tyrannical lion procs and what it looks like. So here we go. We're going to apply the final sculptures to upgrade Richard the First to the expertise skill. Here we are and activate it. Boom. Tyrannical lion. You probably saw in one of my very first videos, like way back when, when I was ranking expertise skills, that I thought, this is one of the best in the game, and I am feeling really good about finally getting to the point where we unlock that expertise skill. So let's take our max level, Richard the First, for a spin. We'll go with Charles Martel and beat on some barbarians and then get a look at the log. So we will take, here we are, Richard and... Marty, and we've got full Sammies. Let's go for a spin. Not the most efficient use of action points for battling barbarians, but eh, that's fine. That's fine. We just want to see how it works, see what it looks like. Super tanky army. And we are in alliance territory for what that is worth. I'm kind of curious about several things with Richard I. I wonder, like, I guess every 10 turns, it applies the slow. Does it apply the slow on the first turn or the 10th turn? Um, all of these things will be super relevant for combat, and one thing that I'm eager to see in the Ark of Osiris later today, which is a part of why we're pushing these upgrades, is that uh, I'm really curious if, like, what happens if you switch targets? If you switch targets, does it apply a slow and you switch and then it applies another slow? Or, like, how does that work? I would assume not. I would assume there's some internal cooldown that's maintained, but anyways, we'll test it out later today. We'll get some reports and see what it looks like. Here we go, marching our way over. We um, made a bunch of purchases recently, by the way. We bought the Valentine's pack, and you can buy that $100 tier three times. Whew! Uh, yes, yeah, so we did. So we did. My money where my mouth is. I said it was a good pack, so I bought a lot of it. And that left us with a lot of gems. We used a bunch of those for a castle upgrade, which is rolling now. So here we go. We're about to hit, and once we do hit, we'll just get a sense of how awesome the combo is. And then also get a deep look at the logs to see if we can figure out what's going on. Hopefully he stays in Alliance territory. I kind of wonder how that works. If, like, you're in Alliance territory, is that what matters? Or if your enemy's in Alliance territory? Either way, the combat begins in the forest now. And let's see. I think this is going to be a long enough fight that we're not going to melt him. I didn't see a slow get applied at the start. There's the regular march speed down. Now, I think I saw march speed go off twice there. There's march speed again. And there's March Speed from the skill. And there's March Speed again. And then there's the March Speed from the skill. There's March Speed again. So I wonder if this is just, is this aligned with the skill attack or not? Okay, there's the March Speed down. It's not, okay, and there it is again. I don't think it's aligned with the skill attack. I think it might wait 10 seconds and then apply the March Speed down. You can see, like, this unit is an unbelievable unit for tanking. They're probably nearly max health with almost nothing dead. With almost no severely injured units. And bada boom, they're smashed. Report has come in. Let's see here. We're going to pull up, look at that, 77 severely wounded units. Like it's nothing. Okay, let's go to the log. Okay, so, tyrannical lion. Okay, that's what we're looking for right? It's called Tyrannical Lion? Yes. So the very first turn, attack triggered Talent Master Armor, the attack triggered Tyrannical Lion, which means in the next turn, 
Okay, so it applies the slow on the very first turn, which is excellent. The second you get into combat with someone and get one hit, they are slowed by 50%, which is pretty amazing. They call it an ultra slowdown effect. It's interesting. Okay, there it says in the second turn, it's a 50% slowdown effect. And then it's three turns remaining, two turns remaining, one turn remaining, zero turns remaining. Then there's one turn of cooldown, two turns of cooldown, three turns of cooldown, four turns of cooldown. And there it is on turn 11, which is when I would expect. So the first one was turn one, the next one was turn 11. There's Tyrannical Lion again. And okay, so that's how that works. That's how that works. It's the first turn of the attack. So I kind of wonder if I switch targets, is it going to go right away or not? Hmm. I wonder if I can find two targets that are really close to each other, and maybe we can test that out, and like hit a target, and then switch and hit another target. I am think I'm going to cut the video and try to do that, and let's see if we can find... Let's see if we can find that and make that happen. All right, we're back, and we're on our way in. It's just going to take a moment before we arrive. One thing I want to mention is that, you know, the downside of unlocking an expertise skill on a legendary is that, for instance, with Richard I, the next time the wheel event comes around for Richard I, I guess I don't play it. Um, and those wheel events are really great ways to get sculptures. Um, let's see. These guys kind of spread out a little bit from where they started. But I think it might be good enough to test this out. We're going to hit this one over here. The slowdown effect should apply immediately. There it is. And then we're going to go over here. Oh, it's going to take 13 seconds. Well, that's okay. Let's see here. We get close. We hit march speed. And then we turn. We hit. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, stop running. Four. Five, March speed. And then I turn and I hit. And it's going to do March speed. March speed. And I turn and I hit. It's going to do March speed. March speed. It might be nearly instant. Let's kill these guys and look at the report. That was maybe a little confusing. We'll look at the report and see what the heck just happened. And we're killing the one guy just with our counterattacks, which is kind of nuts. That's the advantage of the old Martell addition to this pairing, is that he does like huge counterattack damage, which is excellent. I wonder how many action points that used up, by the way. I wasn't looking. Maybe that was like a billion action points to swap back and forth like that. All right, we'll have to look at the footage to figure that one out. There's the march speed down. They smash that target. And does march speed down apply? Oh, I'm running. Well, now I definitely can't tell if march speed down was going to apply. Anyways, okay. Let's look at the report and see if we can figure out what just happened. Because that was, that was special, the way that worked. Oh, interesting. There's two reports. There's two battle logs. That's going to be more tricky than I thought to figure this out. So we go in the first battle log. There's Tyrannical Lion on turn one. And we would expect... Okay, nothing happened. Turn eight, all those turns. So turn one, we had Lion. Turn 23, we had Lion. And then if we go to this log... Well, that was the same one, I think. Which one is this? This is the 24... This is the 23. Now we go to this log. Turn 1 is Lion. And then... Hmm. Snare of Thorns. 21 is Lion. I think what we need to do, for me to feel better about this, is we need to try it one more time, but they actually need to be a little bit closer to each other, like they are over here. All right, we're going to try. I can't figure out from those reports what just happened, but if they're definitely on top of each other and it's like attack, attack, that'll be really clear. That'll be really clear. So here we go, headed over. We're going to battle this 24 and this 22. Hope they stay near each other for us to be able to do that. We're going to hit one, 
And in the first turn, it's going to apply Tyrannical Lion. And then we're going to hit another, and hopefully it immediately applies Tyrannical Lion. And that'll tell us what we need to know. All right, let's start maybe with the 22. Because then we'll be really nicely positioned for the, to hit the 24. Oh my gosh, guys, stop moving. Let's do it a little differently. We're going to start with the 24. We'll look at this positioning. There it is, and hit. Does the march speed go down? I don't think it did. I don't think it did. And now, of course, we've got the skill attack with the march speed down, followed by march speed down again. Okay, so that is helpful. So it's only the first attack. And if you switch targets, it's still got an internal cooldown, which is good to know. We'll look at the report to confirm that. Okay, bada boom, that guy's dead. And we'll look at the report. Okay, so first guy we hit, I believe, was the 24. So there's Tyrannical Lion on turn 1. And then we look at the battle log for the 22. And no Tyrannical Lion until turn 9. Okay, so it has an internal cooldown. Good to know. Good to know. Overall, I'm incredibly excited about unlocking this expertise skill. This commander is amazing. I would argue possibly the best in the game. I'm really looking forward to dominating with this commander in the Ark of Osiris, which is going to happen really soon. And I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If so, please do like and subscribe. Let me know if you've got some additional thoughts in the comments. And until next time, my friends, you have fun. Smashing the kingdom.